It's going to be such a great event here <laughs> later on next week. It's going to be hot, humid for them, and it looks fairly dry for the tournament here. Okay. Uh, but they will have to deal with maybe some storm chances as we head towards Saturday and Sunday. For us, we're dealing with some storms east of the metro, and we have our trackers out. Uh, Tom Pastrano and also Val and Amy Castor are out there as well. And let's first talk to uh, here across Metro, all sunny and quiet. And let's go out in the field and talk to the storm trackers here. And let's talk to Val and Amy Castor. And they've had a rotating wall cloud, a lot of lightning with this. And there's some big hail in the distance there. Val, go ahead and give us a report. So what you're looking at right there, Justin, is the updraft base. And I guarantee you that whole updraft is rotating. Uh, it's having a problem, thankfully, getting that rotation down to the ground because of strong north winds underneath the base. Lots of lightning, as you said, dangerous lightning and big hail. Back to you, Justin. Yeah, Val, it's a big, mean storm that's doing, no doubt, a little bit of damage. Uh, first, Okima and then now head down towards Wetumpka. All right, Tom Estrado, you can see the hail has stopped. Go ahead and give us a report. Yeah, uh, Justin, I found some two and a half inch size hail out in the field. And, you know, that was about 10, 15 minutes after I had fallen. So I'm sure there's probably some baseballs out there. Pretty big hailstorm that came through Okima. Back to you. Yeah, that record heat fueled these storms with a cold front and a Okima, again, drying out, cleaning up, but they had tennis to baseball size hail that Tom just saw there on the ground. All right, let's go to Lynx 1 here. And severe weather will be east of Oklahoma City, okay? So Lincoln County, Pottawatomie County, Pontotoc, down to Johnston and Marshall, and then off towards the east as the thunderstorms tried to build to the west, but the cold front is undercutting them. And the, this is where most of the action will be and they'll slide off towards the south and east. We'll watch it closely if anything tries to develop off towards the west, but the front is now moving in to the south side. So Norman, here in the next 30 minutes or so, you're going to see a nice northeast wind here across downtown. Nice northeast wind as well. There's that big storm, a lot of lightning. Val was saying there was big bolts of lightning all over his chase vehicle as they are watching that storm and that rotating wall cloud that at times has rotated, looked good, but then it's fighting the front as well and it's kind of undercutting that uh, Val mentioned. But you can see all the purples, blacks, and all the lightning strikes on this and it's heading due south now, uh, down 75. So Watomka, you're going to be the next one being hit and then down towards the Calvin area eventually. But you can see golf ball to tennis ball, no purple. This has been showing purple, so maybe a little bit of a weakening uh, right now. But again, broad rotation aloft helping to produce that big hail. But right now, no immediate tornadic threat. And that low, uh, that tornado threat is low with that storm because it's fighting what's going through right now across Oklahoma City. If you are sitting on your patio, you're feeling that northeast breeze, 15 to 25 gusts and near 30. As those storms, Ada, Holdenville, down towards Stewart, um, down towards McAllister, that'll be the greatest threat of severe weather, a uh, slight to moderate risk. Maybe a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms up towards Tulsa still, but the bulk of the severe weather sliding in our far southeast counties, and it'll be out of here by 7 or 8 o'clock into southeast Oklahoma by 8 or 9 o'clock. So this will be in and out of at least our southeast viewing area here within the next two to three hours, and that's where the rain chances will be as well as another front dry here for most of the area. Record high temperature of 93. How about the lower 100s off towards the southwest? We smashed the record back of 90 back in 1966. So we've had a hot stretch a week all seven days last nine days have all been above average as we're nearly five inches or five degrees above average for right now. 92 degrees a northwest wind northeast winds taking over right now and that'll bring in some drier air overnight. OK, not here this evening, but overnight will eventually fall into the 60s. 80s tomorrow, a cool northeast wind, a little bit of humidity that increases with maybe some after or overnight thunderstorm chances Monday night and again on Tuesday night. But overall, the heat and humidity returns after one day of a break tomorrow. And we'll be watching that cold front with a chance of showers and thunderstorms as we head towards next weekend with some 80s and 70s. The Blitz is coming up next.